Nationalist Congress party leader Ajit Pawar has denied that he is planning to move to the BJP, with his supporters accusing the media of spreading rumours without any reason. Ajit Pawar slammed talk of a rift in the NCP and Maharashtra's opposition alliance, saying there is no truth to any rumour. I am with the NCP and I will stay with the NCP. Earlier though, Ajit Pawar's uncle and NCP chief Sharad Pawar had brushed off speculation about a split and a meeting of MLAs willing to switch to the ruling Eknath Shinde BJP alliance. But amid intense speculation in Maharashtra's political circles about his defection from the NCP, Ajit Pawar said there is no substance in the news and called it baseless. Let's go across to my colleague Sohit Mishra, who's tracking all the latest developments for you. Sohit, the NCP leader has finally denied that he's planning to move to the BJP. Absolutely. In fact, for the last uh, few days, as well as for over a week, Parmeshwar, what has been happening is that a lot of rumours, as well as some newspapers and news channels, have been running that uh, today, tomorrow, or some day, Ajit Pawar is going uh, to join the BJP. And that was also a pressure on us because the sources that we spoke to have always been denying this. But since this has been continuously rising, today Ajit Pawar himself came out and said that, no, I am not going anywhere. You should please stop all these rumours and at the same time you should stop uh, all these rumours against me, against my party and stop confusing my NCP workers. We are together in the MVA. I am with Sharad Pawar. I am inside uh, NCP and we are not going anywhere. This is uh, what Ajit Pawar said. He was upset with the media and also said that there are people in other party who are acting as the spokesperson of NCP. He said that I was present in the MVA rally that happened on Sunday in Nagpur. I didn't speak over there but also other leaders of other party like Bala Sahib Thorath who is a very senior Congress leader also didn't speak. The reason being we have decided that each and every MVA rally only two people from each party will speak. Since I spoke in the previous rally of Sambhaji Nagar, I decided not to speak over here. <coughs> and that is the reason I did not speak. I am not going anywhere. There is no discussion going on. There are people in the BJP as well as in the Shiv Sena who are inviting me. But the big question is, if I or no one from my party, no MLA from my party is going anywhere, on what basis are you inviting me? You said, I am coming out and speaking right now because uh, now all of your uh, attention is on me, but you are not focusing on several other issues like the Maharashtra Bhushan Award, where around 13 people lost their lives due to heat stroke. This was a... Uh, something that was organized by the state government but no one is focusing on that. No one is focusing on the farmers issue but all the focus was on Ajit Pawar and these were all baseless and rumours that was being spread by the opposition as well as by some channels in the media and he uh, said that these are baseless rumours and you should stop doing so or stop uh, showing such rumours. On the other hand, we also saw as you rightly said that in the morning even Sharat Pawar spoke and said that there's no base to whatever is being run. Ajit Pawar is in the NCP. Uh, there were rumours like 40 MLAs are with him. He took some signatures. He said, I never took any signature. Uh, the funny part is he had to come out and speak because there were so much rumours that were running for the last one and, a, uh, one and a half week in the media. What will happen to Shinde? How will he join the BJP? Or how NCP and BJP will come in power? But now since Ajit Pawar himself have come out, he has asked the media as well as some of the leaders in other uh, parties to stop such rumours and stop uh, uh, diverting the attention and also confusing the workers of the Mahavikas Aghadi Alliance. As always, Sohit, thank you so much for joining us with the latest update and breaking down all the details for us. As my colleague Sohit Mishra has been reporting, let's just listen in to what Ajit Pawar said a few moments ago. त्या राज्यकर्त्यांनी केलं त्या राज्यकर्त्यांचा मी तीव्र शब्दात निषेध करतो दुसरी गोष्ट आपण जे काही सातत्याने माझ्याबद्दलच्या बातम्या पसरवताय किंवा दाखवताय मी आपल्याला सांगेन की त्याच्यामध्ये यत्किंचितही तथ्य नाही तुम्ही जे दाखवलेले चाळीस आमदारांच्या सह्या घेतल्या असं काही आमदारांच्या सह्या घेण्याचं कारण नाही आम्ही सगळेजण राष्ट्रवादी काँग्रेस पक्षाचेच आहोत राष्ट्रवादी काँग्रेस पक्षातच राहणार आहोत त्याच्यामुळं ह्या बातम्यांना कुठल्याही प्रकारचा आधार नाही त्याच्यामुळं काही वेगवेगळ्या चॅनलमध्ये इतर राजकीय पक्षाचे लोकं देखील त्यांचं त्यांचं मत व्यक्त करतात त्यांनी तो काय व्यक्त करावं वेगवेगळ्या राजकीय पक्षाचा तो त्यांचा अधिकार आहे 
तुम्ही आता आज मी इत नेहमीप्रमाण मजा ऑफिस बसतो तेस साधारण मंगलवार बुधवार कमिटी मीटिंग आता आमदार अनेक आमदार मंत्री कड़ कि मंत्रालय काम निमित्ता ये अतम आज पे आमदार इकड़े आते माला मी इत है मनु भेटा आए होते ती ने की पद्धत है हजात वेगड़ा अर्थ काड़ू नका तमें मग धनंजय मुंडे आती My colleague Megha is also in the studio with us for further clarity on the matter. Megha, now Ajit Pawar has clearly said that there's no substance to the news of him switching to the BJP. He's actually called these baseless rumours. Well, yes, uh, at least you know as far as uh, his clarification that has come out today, um, and this comes after almost a week or little more than that of speculation uh, and you know very heavy speculation that was done, uh, especially in the Marathi media, uh, that you know Ajit Pawar is already and you know, all set to cross over to the Bharatiya Janata Party side, and that he has a certain number of NCP MLAs with him who would you know and all of them in block will move towards the BJP. So that had been going on for. quite some time today it seems the pressure you know became just too much for him to sort of bear and uh, i'm quite sure that there would have been instructions from uh, top uh, in his party especially from his uncle sharad pawar to come out and give out this clarification to the media uh, and you know set everything straight for everybody to understand so today uh, yeah, there was really no occasion for him to speak to the media unle- uh, other than of course trying to just uh, uh, you know emphasize on the point that there is no truth in all that has been spoken about or being written about in the last 7 8 10 days now the fact remains that uh, you know all of this was given uh, rights to after a report uh, which suggested that the enforcement directorate had uh, in their investigation not found much evidence against ajit pawar and his wife sunetra this is in context remember of the msc bank probe the ed has been investigating uh, this case and last week on wednesday they filed a charge sheet in which they dropped ajit pawar and his wife sunetra's name from the charge sheet doesn't find a mention there earlier they had attached properties connected to a sugar mill in uh, to ajit pawar uh, in that particular investigation but in the charge sheet it was nowhere to be found this one particular sugar mill and the details about it so from that time you know a lot of rumor actually started and then it snowballed into reports suggesting ajit uh, has been asking uh, mlas to come over and meet him and then there is a, a whole uh, signature campaign that he has started and he has more than 40 mlas on his side all of that he has at least attempted to put uh, a lid on by saying that you know nothing is true now let me also uh, you know just here briefly contextualize and tell you exactly what's going on as far as ajit pawar is concerned here is a leader from the ncp who has friends in the bjp who has joined hands with the bjp in the past and who uh, is not averse to crossing over to the bjp that's that's very clear about him everybody knows that ajit is a person who's very soft when it comes to issues and criticisms for the bjp he you will not find this one leader to come out uh, you know with bitter criticism or statements against the bharatiya janata party or even for that matter the current government uh, which is a faction of the shinde sena also there in maharashtra so ajit is seen to be soft towards the bharatiya janata party now the second thing is because he's done this in the past remember he's done this in the past in 2019 he went in uh, got himself sworn in as the deputy chief minister along with uh, devendra fadnavis you know you that connection is still being drawn now uh, when it comes to the people who are loyal to ajit pawar you will always have a disputed number you know some would say more than 30 40 etc but from whatever we have been able to gather and we understand reliably so that ajit pawar bar has a faction in the party that is loyal to him you really cannot put your fingers on a number it may be around 22 24 we don't know but there is definitely a faction which is loyal to him and which always gives rise to speculation is ajit going to move out with them in this case it all started after the ed charge sheet and it sort of uh, you know gave Uh, ideas to people that uh, it was perhaps on the instructions of the government that his name was dropped that you know all of this preparation is happening in a situation wherein a supreme court uh, a verdict which is expected uh, in the case of the disqualifications of the uh, uh, sitting mlas um, of the shinde faction of the shiv sena in case they get disqualified because you are expecting that judgment to happen before the supreme court breaks for the summer vacation and you know in case they get disqualified will ajit pawar 
Kumar then move in with his numbers to the Bharti Janta Party. Let us quickly just understand how uh, improbable at this moment it seems because Ajit Pawar will, if in case a, you know you you are sort of imagining a situation where Ajit Pawar does break away with a faction, he will have the anti-defection law put against him unless he is able to break away two third of the party. Two third of the party of NCP with the current numbers would be around 33-34. Does he have that kind of strength uh, or his own position in the party? Does he is he able to sway or influence that many number of people from the NCP? Move them with him along with him to the Bharti Janta Party. At this point, I can tell you for sure there are no overtures from the Bharti Janta Party towards Ajit Pawar. So right now, whatever he is saying is quite believable. And also, let's remember till the time you have Sharad Pawar the helm of the affairs of the Nationalist Congress Party, you may not have a situation where Ajit Pawar rebels one more time, a second time and breaks away with his people.